upload an image dynamically with uh, Flash CS4. Under components, we have something called the UI loader. This is uh, with ActionScript 3.0. I'm going to take the UI loader and drag it onto the stage. And if I go to the components inspector, we have an option here for source. Um, I already copied my URL. Uh, I'm going to paste it in here. Well, let me just grab it one more time. I'm going to copy and then paste it here. And if you come back here, you'll see that's the image we're going to have up here. Um, but before I go back to Flash, I want to click on Properties and see the dimensions. 377 by 240 are, uh, is my dimensions. So what I want to do is come back to Properties for the UI loader and adjust the width and height. 377 by 240. And those are my dimensions uh, for the image. So what will happen is if you don't do that and adjust the dimensions, your image is going to become a little bit uh, distorted. So you definitely want to do that. I'll do Control Enter, and that's a dynamic uh, loading of an image. Now, if I come back here to um, my traditional way of doing it, just loading the image from the library here, um, I also did a test before I, I created the video here to teach you guys this, and we're going to see the file size difference. So let me come back to the two folders that we have. It we have one folder here, images on server and the other one is image in Swift so let's do this let's see how big the file is 54.2 kilobytes for the image in Swift and for the image on the server we have 15.5 kilobytes and this is a good example on why you want to do this for instance if you have a slideshow and you have 10 images um, this file size will matter. I know you guys are thinking, well, you know, 54.2 kilobytes doesn't sound too bad uh, compared to 15.5. Uh, um, but the more images you start using and you start getting heavily involved with a lot more data and even with video, you definitely want to do this dynamically. Um, think about the user experience. Nobody wants to look at your slideshow if it's 5 megabytes when they click at another slideshow that's 500 KB. So you definitely want to. Um, you know, make your file sizes smaller and the best way to do it is loading images dynamically.